Hello my dear family members, I hope all of you are preparing well for your upcoming Mahindra Rise exam as I have seen that you guys are asking if you are selected for Java or if you are selected for CPP then can you switch the programming language or not. So many of you are asking if I can change this programming language to Python or not. So honest answer is no. Okay. So this should be uh, in your mind that you cannot change your uh, coding language so be prepared if you are selected for java or if you are selected for cpp so java specific mcq will also be asked java specific coding questions will also be asked okay so be prepared for that for cpp as well for you the same cpp mcq and cpp coding will be asked okay so let me share the today's questions of mind rise uh, which will be almost similar questions in your case as well so let me share that so find the output of the following program so this type of questions are being asked in case of java and cpp uh, mcq questions so just wait uh, there will be cpp question and as well as java questions as well okay so please have a look on this so that you can prepare well so public static void main then then okay so byte x is equal to 127 then post increment of x post increment of x system dot out dot print x so what should be the output options uh, before i show you in the options please guess the answer before that so that you can prepare well okay okay so these are the options minus 127 127 128 and 0 why and what should be the answer please ready be ready with your answer okay so let me give the answer actually the answer will be 127 um yeah 127 why because x is equal to 127 and the data type is byte and for byte the range is minus 127 to 127 okay so you it cannot exit plus uh, in the in the upper side okay that means it cannot be exit to 128 so this is not possible and zero is also not possible okay so that's why it will not execute it so the output should be 127 okay I hope you understood. Okay, so let me go to the next question. So the next questions will be this. Find the output of the following program. Um, yeah, int array x is equal to this array. Okay, for int i is equal to from zeroth index to last index we are hovering. Then we are printing the ith element of that array, and there is a space in between of each element. So what it should print? So the options are given below like this 120, 200, 0, 1, 6, 14, in one case, 0 in one case, none. What should be the answer? Please give the answer in the comment section. See, if you can answer here, then you can answer in your exam as well. Okay. So better if you pause and try to give the answer. Think a little then give the answer. Okay. Guys, please do subscribe this channel because I get some motivation from this and I make more content. Uh, like whenever I get free time okay yet uh, I don't have free time but still I am uh, uh, like recording the videos on 1 a.m. 2 a.m. because of only you guys okay so please do subscribe and share this content share this channel like this video so that I'll be motivated okay and recommend which content do you want more okay so now which option will be correct option for 120 200 0, 1, 6. so at the first index so x0 is equal to 120 so it is printed okay then there is a space so here one space should be there then in the next iteration 200 so i mean i is equal to 1 so x1 is equal to 200 so it will be printed in the next iteration z i is equal to 0 1 6 i sorry i is equal to 3 so x of 2 sorry i is equal to 2 x of 2 is equal to 0 1 6 okay now it is a octagonal number okay so that's why in case instead of this 14 will be printed if you just convert this to decimal number okay so that's why option b will be the correct answer okay let me share that here as you can see uh, if i just run this now so it will print 120 200 and 14 if you can see here at the right uh, left 
okay so let me go to the next questions but before that guys if you want to prepare more well within very few days within very few hours then please have the prime materials of Mind the rise here. You'll get all the precise materials with all the repeated coding questions five star it gets as you can see We got five star here uh, as you can see all the like the students have given the five stars and It is helpful for them. That's why they are giving a five stars and Please have the materials because here we are giving cognitive reasoning spatial reasoning interview experience repeated coding questions and technical questions as well so it will be very much helpful for you so visit topmate.io slash technology web there you will get all the materials okay and the materials will be available like go through the link given in the description box you will get the materials directly okay so let me go to the next question the next question is this select the valid statement to declare and initialize an array so uh, an array so we have to initialize an array so how to do that so is this a correct option or not is this a correct is this a correct or is this a correct okay let me check from the last so this is initialization for a 2d array okay and there should be one more array inside okay so this is not a 2d array so it is not a correct option in this case as well this is not a proper initialization of an array or declaration of an array okay so here as well this is a sign of tuple or set so this is not an array okay so in this case it is a correct option because we we initialize array with in this second bracket okay curly braces inside that so it is a right option so how many way we can declare an array like int uh, third bracket array is equal to you can write one two three here we can write int array then the third bracket then we can write one two three here okay so there are several ways you can write the you can declare and initialize the array okay i hope you understood so let me go to the next question so that is find the value of a1 after execution of the following program int array a is equal to this for int i is equal to zero i from 0th index to last index i plus plus then a i is equal to this then what will be the value of a1 after execution of this so actually this is a tricky questions so this type of tricky questions will also be asked in behind the rise exam so please give the answers wisely okay and this is not only for c java this is also for c plus plus guys so be careful please give the answer in the comment section someone was asking that if for ec department will i get coding questions or not guys for all of you you will get coding questions okay so be prepared okay so int uh, okay what will be the answer let me just declare uh clarify that so for int i is equal to zero right i is equal to zero so at first a of i is zero is equal to a of a i right a i means a of i means a of zero that is zero okay at zero index of array that is 0 plus 3 plus 3 mod of a dot length a dot length means the length of that array right so that is 5 so what is the value 3 mod 5 so value if i divide 3 by 5 then remainder will be 3 right so a of 3 so a of 3 is equal to what a of 3 is equal to 1 okay so the value of a of 0 is reinitialized as one so zero will not be here here one is replaced okay just remind that in the next iteration we have to calculate value of a1 right so a1 is equal to a of a1 plus 3 a1 is 2 a1 is 2 plus 3 that is 5 mod 5 so 5 mod 5 means if i divide 5 by 5 then there will be no remainder that is zero so it will become a of zero so what is the value of a of, a of zero we have replaced earlier that is one is equal to one so that's why output will be one okay i hope you understood what students make mistakes that is a of zero they suddenly pick zero as the output so that's the problem students make okay i hope you understood so let me go to the next question so choose the size of the below struct struct int a carry b float c what's the size of the below struct 5 7 10 or 9 give the answer in the comment section before i give okay 
just one thing to remember that is this is question from cpp so the size of the int will be depend on the programming language right so for cpp the size of the int will be 2 for char it will be 1 for float the size of that will be 4 so 4 plus 2 plus 1 bytes will be equal to 7 bytes okay i hope you understood for modern science uh, modern uh, programming languages the int value will be int size will be 4 but in case of cpp uh, you can search it it is two only okay two bytes so the correct answer will be seven i hope you understood so let me go to the next question the next question will be this choose the type of the loop which is guaranteed to execute at least once while loop do while loop for and none this could be a quiz question for you this is a very easy question please give the answer in the comment section i love to give a heart if you are right okay and if you are wrong as well i'll give you a heart so please do comment down guys if it is a while loop or it is a do while loop or it is a for or nothing so please give the answer in the comment section this will be a quiz question for you guys guys if you still have a very less time to prepare then please have the prime materials of mind rise exam please visit topmate.io slash technology web there you can get all the things which you need to prepare for your upcoming drives please visit through the link given in the description box thank you